Mark, was, was George's goal on Saturday a tangible reward that you've been able to use this week? Because ultimately the performance doesn't change for the other 88 minutes, does it? No, we played really well on Saturday. We looked back to our our sort of best in, in terms of what we do best and we dominated possession. We we, uh, we had enough opportunities to win to win a couple of games, but we have to start somewhere. So we take a point. It was a great finish from George, and, and we move on to, to Scunthorpe. There have been other occasions on this run where you haven't been able to put a, a string of results together, where you've made a start and then not gone on. Can it be different this time? We hope so. It's, um, it's certainly what 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 we're planning and what we're hoping. But we have to be able to put the ball in the back of the net. We, if you look at the stats again from last Saturday, 17 shots, 66% of possession. And we're dominating all the right right stats in the game, apart from putting the ball in the net. Over the last 16 games where you have been thin on wins, what do the overall stats show? Shows statistically that we should have an awful lot more points for the performance. We've had a couple of bad performances. But the rest of them should have yielded more points. But if you don't put the ball in the back of the net and you concede the odd bad goal, you're not going to get pick up enough points as as you should do. But we're looking forward to, to Saturday. After last week, um, everyone felt a lot better about it and in terms of how we played. Um, I think the older manager commented how well we played and I think everyone's felt good this week, We've had a good week's training and we're ready and really looking forward to the game on Saturday. There are perhaps good and bad times to play a team during a season. Scunthorpe have recently put Russell Wilcox in charge until the end of it. They've only had three games since he's been in charge. Is it a good or bad time to play them? I don't really look at that, to be honest. I think we just look at the game and you know we know what threats that Scunthorpe will, will pose and we, re we respect that. Um, but it's about what we do, and if we play like we can, if we're a bit more um, determined to keep the ball out of our net and show a real desire to put the chances that we create in the back of their net, then we have a brilliant chance of winning. Do you have to do the ugly stuff better then? I don't even think it's so much as the ugly stuff. I think, um, I think Scunthorpe had... I think they had one shot on target and it went in on, on Saturday. Um, uh, sorry, uh, Oldham had one shot on target on Saturday and it went in. So we have to be better than that. But the opportunities we had, we have to make sure we score more than one because the stats suggest that that's what we should be doing. I've seen Scunthorpe recently. They flooded the midfield in the game I saw. Is that something that you think they might try to do again? If they do, it leaves space out elsewhere. You know, if they flood the midfield, then it means there's space, you know, in the wider areas. So, listen, whatever they do, they're entitled to do, and it's whatever they do, we have to find a, we have to find a way of beating that. And whatever we do, they have to, they have to find a way to try and counteract that. So, listen, we're gonna concentrate on what we do and and try and do that as well as we can. I'm sure you're looking at performance more than points yeah. necessarily at the minute, but. Are you almost getting to a point soon where draws may not be much good? Um, if you want to get to where you want to get to. Oh, just uh, listen. We, I look at the next game, and, and if we play, if we play like we did last Saturday continuously for a number of games, we'll win. We'll win enough points. Josh March, I think, has had seven straight starts until last week. <laughs> Was that adrenaline just looking a bit empty? Is that why you took him out? I think when you're uh, when you come out of um, of a part time environment and go into a full time environment and you've given everything for a month, uh, there becomes a little bit of without probably him knowing it a bit of tiredness and you lose that sharpness. And and, and after the the Tuesday night game, we had to freshen it up. We we had to find a different way rather than trying to bash the door down. Um, we had to find a different way of opening the door and and we looked a little bit more like it on, on Saturday. Compared to the 18 you had at Oldham, Don Bernard, could you add him to that this week, to as being available? He won't be available, no. He won't be available for the Saturday. So are you picking from broadly the same group? Uh, we have Godwin Malife back.
from uh, Eastley and back from injury. So he's a big plus for us. That's been home. Thank you. Mark, how pleased have you been with George Williams' impact last week? And more importantly, <coughs> how much pressure are you putting on him or are you just letting him go out and play? Yeah, I was pleased with his impact last week because the, the two players that play in those positions where he played or came on last week have a, a real licence to go and create and, and try and score. Um, so I was really pleased with his with his input, as I was with Jack, Giovanni and Rob Hall. Um, he's pestering me to start a game. Whether he's ready yet, I don't know. We'll soon find out. But we're not putting any pressure on him because he had a bad injury. And... Uh, when he's ready, he'll play. But he, he could be the, a real key figure in the in the last 12 games of the season. If he plays like he did last December and January, then of course he can. You know, um, if we can keep him clear of injury and get him a good run, then he could be the spark we need. Yeah. You made a change in goalkeeper last Saturday. How, how did you feel that went? I thought, as you would see, and anybody who saw the game with the ball, Tomo was, was outstanding with the ball at his feet. Um, He's not played for a little while and he'll probably be disappointed with the goal that went in. So, yeah, but I was pleased with his with his all-round display apart from the goal. Yeah. One defeat in nine on the road. I guess you'd rather play away every week, wouldn't you? If I'm being honest, yeah. Um, you know, when we turned up to Oldham, the, the players' eyes lit up when they saw the pitch. It was, it was green, it was slick. Um, and and it, that certainly helped us, um, and and we played really well, and we tend to do that away from home. Yeah. How do you think you could transfer that away form into the home form, apart from bring Oldham's pitch and stadium to the new lawn? I don't know, Ash. To be honest, that's something that we've got to get right. It's something that we've got to, we've got to look at, and as a club, what we do um, at the end of the season. Yeah. Are you pleased to be in a position with 12 games to go that it's all to play for? I know you're six points off the playoffs, but there's still yeah. a lot of points to be played for. Yeah, I think um, I think if you look towards the back end of last season, well, I think we won five games on the trot and put ourselves within one game of getting automatic promotion. Um, you know, if we'd have won at Crew, we'd have had the chance to play the last game here at Exeter with a win to get promoted. So, you know, there's there's uh, there's always light at the end of the tunnel for us. We don't get to up or down about it. We know what we've got, we know what we're good at. And then if we do that, we can win some games. Yeah, You've got a group of players at the moment that aren't training with the first team. What are the thoughts behind behind that decision? Well, I've just made a group that I think are the ones that are going to help us move forward to where we want to be come the end of the season or where we're trying to get to. And Any other football club, they, they just train with the, the reserves or the under 23s, but we haven't got one of those. So... The fact that they train separate to the main group is, is, is just the way it is. So I imagine that is quite a, a common thing in football then, it's not just a, yeah. a forest green thing. Yeah, if you're, not, if you're not deemed to be ready to play in, in, the, in the squad, then you train with, uh, with the under 18s or the 23s or you train with a different group. <laughs>